My name's Ursula and I'm at the cultural site on Middle Ridge Road in Rimba State Forest. So for the past few months, a group of us have been working to stop logging happening in this area. And recently I found out that um, the cultural site is not marked as a cultural site on the paperwork that um, Forestry Corp operate from, namely their harvest plan. Um, it's just listed as an OSA, which is another significant area. Um, it's also the same on the map. It doesn't actually appear to be anything special apart from an OSA, so other significant area, which is meant to be a non-harvest area. But I'm going to take you on an interesting tour around this cultural site so you can see how many trees look like they've been logged in the last 20 years. So, my name is OSA, other significant area where I'm not meant to be harvested around. I'm not too sure what exactly this buffer is because, like, as you can see, all these trees have clearly been logged within the last 20 or so years. I've got this big one here, but, yeah, the majority of them, like, mind you, this is pretty much the sandstone plateau, which is the cultural site. Um, yeah, they've all been logged. So, the paperwork also states that um, the trails can be used for snigging and... Um, haulage around this cultural site as well, I believe, um, which is basically saying that they can actually traverse through this exclusion zone, um, like, you know, whether we like it or not, whether the forest likes it or not, whether the cultural site likes it or not, basically for the efficiency of their um, wood harvest and delivery operations. So, yeah, here's another bunch of trees, all recently burnt or two by the look of it, and that's like a sandstone cave, and the cultural site's just up this way. So unfortunately, this area has already been basically ravaged by some kind of machinery, whether it's forestry or not, we can never be too sure. But yeah, mm -hmm. so it obviously needs a lot of protection, which it isn't getting. And that's where I've just come from. This is all part of one big plateau. So I haven't got a very trained eye, but I'm pretty sure that these are the axe groovings. Part of the reason why this area is culturally significant. Yeah, then contrast that to these bloody caterpillar machine damage tracks that go up and around here. So yeah, as you can see, this place obviously needs protection. And we're going to have a look around the ridge line. Okay, so back again on the ridge line. I just came from over there. So as you can see, it's, this is like one pretty linked plateau and oh my god lo and behold look all the trees look like they've been logged in the last 20 years yeah nice buffer state forestry um and so that basically encircles the whole area so whatever machines can come through and traverse this cultural site will potentially damage it like this is a cultural site that should and needs to, and obviously needs to be protected it's part of our cultural heritage and is important for the indigenous custodians of this area and further beyond but, you know, um, this apparently is their, their buffer. Thanks.